Sometimes you go to places that they're just built like a stage, you know, for that particular situation. And then they remove it and it's gone. You know, you create something, you play something, and it's, it's nothing behind it, nothing to hold it. But here, this place has foundation, not only physical or structure foundation, it has historical foundation. Can you imagine how many people have been here? Thousands and thousands living here, staying here, eating here. And that's what creates the whole dynamics of the restaurant. The thing that makes wool growers sort of work is the continuity. It's the continuity of the food, uh, the continuity of the atmosphere. When you come into wool growers, those are the kinds of things that you anticipate and expect, and it's also the things that cause you to support. This is where everybody comes after a long day of work, and everybody knows each other. From one table to another, they're always like, I want to pay that person's tab. I want to pay that person's tab. It's like a family here. You look at that table there. These three guys, I've known them forever, from different parts of the area. They, they, came, they didn't come here for the food. They come here. Socialize. Here, socialize. A lot of history in this place. For us growing up, we were raised here. This is a small town growing like any place else, but I believe that everybody have a, a sense of family. So I think that's why wool growers is the place where people meet, same as your house, you know, like the dining room. The Basque people have a very distinct culture and certainly a, a very distinct cuisine. And it's very common for hotels and the restaurants of these hotels to be centers of the community. And certainly wool growers is that for Los Banas in this entire region. In the mid 1800s, a lot of young men that moved from the Basque country to the United States they were working on the sheep herding and they create places like this for boarding. So this is what's like their home. When they were not working, they will live here. And they created this family style food because of that reason. And since then, this has been the tradition. I've been coming here since 1982, so good place. Well, the food and the pico. This is a pecan punch. And I'm from Spain. I never drink pecan until I come to over here to this place. And even now today, after 15 years, I still drink the pecan. This is a typical... Um, Jean-Pierre? Yeah. This is what typical French drink, uh, drink pecan? Well, yeah. No, because I'm telling him, I never drink pecan until I come here. The liquor is coming from French side. Yeah. The pecan punch is made with tarania myrrh. It has club soda, grenadine, and a brandy float. We garnish it with olives and a lemon twist. It's a signature house drink. Any Basque restaurant you go to, they have a pecan. They say two's not enough, three's too many. <laughs> But the original pecan, they come from France? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, from France, yeah. That's why the bass fruit always tastes good. Because <laughs> you have two of those, you're, everything is good. <laughs> yeah. The menu was already done 30, 40 years ago. And it stays the same way because when people come, that's what they expect. And I respect that. That's the way we serve, that's the way it's been, and we will keep doing the same thing forever. It's family style, large portions of food. We make everything in big batches from scratch every day. It's like going to grandma's house. We butcher our own lamb. 
We use everything from that lamb, from the roast lamb, lamb chop loins, the lamb shoulder chops, the lamb shank, and all the meat for the lamb stew, which we're very famous for. When you sit down, you get a bottle of wine, vegetable soup, beans, salad with our house dressing, fries, lamb stew. You choose an entree. We have tri-tip New York steak ribeye. Pork chop, lamb chop, and chicken. I just want a soup and salad. Soup and salad? Yeah. My mother, when she came from the Oak Country, she worked here. She was a waitress here. And that's where she met my dad. Yep. Yeah. When we were kids, every Sunday, the bar would fill with all of the Basque families. And at 12, 30, 1 o'clock, you get to be the chosen few. You go in the back and you ring the bell for everybody to come in and they spend the afternoon here every Sunday. And that was three owners ago, 58 years ago. When it changed hands several years ago, everyone was holding their breath, you know, wondering, oh, are we gonna lose that, that Basque restaurant? We're one of the only restaurants in Los Banos that is female owned. We weren't from here. Nobody knew who we were. We're not locals, so everybody was just wondering who took wool growers, you know? It was very challenging at the beginning because, of course, being the, the woman giving the orders and saying in a men's world what to do is not easy. We did not change anything. We kept everything the same. Great service, great food, that warm atmosphere that this place has. You don't want to change that. I think it was a little bit of hesitation, like, What's going on here? You know, this is a place of entertainment, and now it's just it's a woman coming and driving this ship. Yes. And I'm planning to stay here for a while. There's a restaurant in Madrid, Spain, and it's the oldest restaurant in the world. And I went there. And, and, and it's just to feel that. And it happened before I, I have this restaurant. And I had different thoughts when I was there. And then it's like, oh my gosh, you know? Now I'm here and I'm managing a place and I have basically the same thing in my hands. It's a lot of responsibility. Los Banos is in that transitional period of trying to figure out what we want to be when we grow up <laughs> and what we're going to be you know, like in 30 to 50 years. And uh, you know, it's really hard to say. And there's less and less bars restaurants. Back as we used to have six or eight restaurants, now I think there's only three. And we like to keep it, uh, this one live because I don't know, if uh, they, they close this place, I don't know where we're gonna go. Uh, that's why I come here every day, I wanna support this one. <laughs> when you walk in through those doors, you just feel it. Everybody knows each other here. They've been coming here for 20 plus years. They love the feeling of being at home because this is their home. You can put the same concept in another city and it not gonna work. It's not just a restaurant, you know? You can open a restaurant any place. But this has the energy and the blood and the drive of the people, and that's what it makes this place different. It still has the magic, it still has the vibe, the energy. It will never disappear. It will always stay here. That's wool growers. <laughs>